everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you a really quick way to create a textured pop art photo effect. So with your photo open, the first thing we're going to do is right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. All this means is that we can apply adjustments and filters on them and be able to edit them after the fact. So the first adjustment that we're going to create is going to image adjustments threshold. And in the threshold menu, you just want to adjust the level of the slider to accurately show some of the nice details of your image or subject without blowing things too far out of proportion on either side. So for me, about 72 works fine and I'll press OK. Now likely there's going to be some leftover shadows if your image wasn't so clean as this or even in my case there's some leftover portions that I don't want in the final image. So I'm going to go to layer, new, layer and here I just like to grab the polygonal lasso tool and making sure I'm working on add to selection mode, I just right click and select out those areas that I want to kind of delete. And in this case it's pretty simple, there wasn't many, but if you have some more sections you want to clean up, just create selections around all of them. Try to keep your original photo intact, but remember it's kind of already not a super exact effect, so don't worry about being too perfect. And right click and fill your selection with contents white. So that's just going to clean up the background and now you have your solid black on white silhouette. Now at this point if you want you can go to file new and create a new canvas for whatever size project that you're going to be working on or you could crop your image to a certain size but in my case I'm just going to keep it the original photo size just to demonstrate the steps in this effect. You can always utilize this effect in different creations of your own. So after you have it black and white, the next thing we're going to do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Gradient Map. And now we're going to be able to change the black and white color to whatever we want. And what I like to do is double click on the black. If you don't see this default black to white, you should be able to just click any of these presets on the cog wheel and just press Reset Gradients and you'll see it. And you want to double click on the black color stop and just raise it up to a really dark gray or charcoal color. And for the white you want to double click it and use a bright and fun or pastel color. I've really been liking a kind of muted yellow for this effect. So I'll press OK on that and then OK when I'm happy. And then the final step just to kind of blend things together and the reason we made that black a little bit more gray is because we're going to add a texture on a blending mode. So go to Layer, New Fill Layer, and select Pattern. Press OK, and you should see a menu with a list of different pattern fills that you can choose from. And if you click the cog wheel, Photoshop has a bunch of different ones. So here's one that I'm going to use. It's under Texture Fill 2, and it's the last one. However, you can scan through Photoshop's default patterns and textures and use one of those or you could find a stock image on the internet on any free stock image website uh, something like concrete or a rusty wall usually works well and you could place it on top of your canvas for this step so press OK when you're happy with the texture and positioning and then the next thing you're going to do is set it to a blending mode uh, blending modes like multiply or overlay work well for this effect However, you just want to make sure that you turn the opacity all the way down to about 20 or less percent so that it doesn't become so obviously visible and just becomes kind of like a subtle texture that your eye can't really pick up too well, but it brings the photo together. So that's pretty much how to create that super quick pop art effect in just a few steps. Hopefully you learned a few things about smart filters, adjustment layers, and textures, and you can use the same technique in a more complete flyer or poster design or finished composition. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out my channel and subscribe for more and like this video if you liked it and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.